Hello party people! It is Friday night and I want to go out. I don't know about you. <laughs> this is Jen Espinosa Goswami here at Waitlist and thank you for joining me this afternoon. When you probably want to be in a club or in a bar having a glass of wine at your house in your PJs, you know, throw off your work clothes and just relax. Well today we're talking all about how to stay consistent throughout the week so that all those salads and all that wonderful exercise you did throughout the week does not get destroyed by the time you hit Friday night and you're ready to party, hardy, hardy. <laughs> so um, let's talk a little bit first about consistency because this is the thing that most people struggle with is consistently exercising, consistently eating the right foods, consistently believing in their success and consistently seeing those results on the scale. It's not easy, is it? But here's the interesting thing. Um, and this is why diets don't work. So we'll talk a little bit about, um, <laughs> about that when I talk about my upcoming program, which is called Release. Speaking of Release, my friend who is like totally into the moon and the stars and uh, spiritual elements, she keeps saying yesterday was the full moon and she's always like, oh, we need to release, we need to release anything that doesn't serve you. So I will be talking about my program, Release, my own version of Release at the end of this Facebook Live today. But if you are joining us, go ahead and pop a question, say hello in the comments. I'd love to see who's here. All right, so how do you stay consistent? Maybe you're like a trooper, you're a warrior, you're awesome during the week, you do everything right. But as soon as Friday rolls around, you're like, cheat meal or cheat day. Or Saturday comes around, and you're like, eh, I don't need to exercise. Sunday rolls around, you're like, hey, day of rest. I'm totally going to rest. It's cool to have a schedule. It's cool to know that you're going to let loose and relax your standards a little bit. But here's the thing. You know why Mondays really, really suck for a lot of us? is because Monday is strict. Monday is scheduled. Monday is back to business. But if we never left our business, if we never left our schedule, and we never left our plan over the weekend, Monday is just another day. The same is true when it comes to staying consistent with your healthy eating program and your exercise program. If you never step away from it, in other words, you don't have a let it all hang loose kind of moment or day or weekend, then it's just another day. And your results on Monday, if you're a person who hops on the scale on Monday, will be that much better because Monday is just another day. It won't suck as much. Let's talk a little bit about what we folks of my age group at least tend to do on weekends. You get your wine going, you don't bother preparing food because you've been doing it all week, right? Maybe you hit more restaurants because you know you want to kind of get out of the house a little bit, you don't want to spend all weekend cleaning. I hate cleaning. It's my worst thing to do ever. I'm really good at it. I don't like doing it. <laughs> so we tend to think I deserve a break. That is 100% correct. You absolutely do deserve a break. Absolutely. But not all breaks have to do with a break from eating healthy. Why do you need a break from eating healthy? Do you like the way you feel after you eat a bunch of crap? Do you like the way you feel when you have a you know fully loaded chili cheese fry and you have a couple beers on the side two hours after that? Do you like how you feel? Does that tend to make you, you know, sit on the couch or lay down or take some extra naps? What kind of weekend do you end up having when you eat that way? You tend not to exercise and then you wake up on Monday and you're like, oh, back to it, back to it. My goal and passion for you is that there's never a back to it. You are just consistently doing the same things day in and day out. When it comes to wine as well, I love a good adult Kool-Aid as much as the next woman. I mean, wine is great, right? But there are limits. And here's a little bit about the limits, especially when you're focusing on a weight loss program. And this is things. This is a trick I've shared with quite a few of my clients who are focusing on trying to improve their drinking habits. Yes, drinking can be a habit as well. What you sip may stick to your hips. Beware of that, it is 100% true. So when it comes to alcohol, by all means, get yourself that beautiful Merlot or Cabernet Sauvignon or make sure you get that Chardonnay going with your fish on Friday night and stick to one glass. Yeah, if you're not a one glass person right now, you're probably like, no way. 
That's my time to unwind. That's my time to relax. Let's tell, let me tell you a little bit something about relaxing. At first, it will suck. And you'll be like, I really want two or three or four, or however many glasses of wine you tend to have. And then you'll get used to having less. And then it won't be such a big deal. And also, when it comes to having less, here is my little trick, my little technique for you and what I've told other clients and they've been able to kick their habits. So it works, it works. And it doesn't feel like deprivation necessarily. So you normally have two glasses of wine with dinner. No problem. Have that first glass of wine, enjoy the heck out of it. It's your weekend, enjoy yourself. And then have a full glass of water. You can pump that water up with whatever you want. Lemon slices, sure. Mint leaves, oh yeah. Put some spritzer in that thing to make it a little bubbly. Enjoy yourself. Drink it out of your wine glass so it feels like a treat. Do it. Enjoy it. But it's water. It's calorie free. It's not another glass of wine. Do that every time you sit down and have a drink of alcohol. You have a full glass of water after that alcohol before even considering having a second glass. We'll talk a little bit later on, maybe in another week, another Facebook Live, about what you can do in terms of what are the best drinks for you to choose when you do decide to go to the bar and hit it up with your girlfriends and just be a bad mom and have a good time. There are plenty of things you can still drink without totally, totally sabotaging your health goals. So we'll talk about that in another Facebook video. If that's something you want to learn more about, please pop in the comments down below this video. You don't need to be live to put comments here. Please pop in the comments, yes, I want to learn about healthier drinking options and I will be happy to share that content with you. Now we were talking about consistency, especially with eating. I don't know if I share this with you, but I hate cooking and I hate cleaning. So that's, you know, that's disaster, right? I mean, how do I ever eat healthy if I don't like cooking and cleaning? There's a way for that. Maybe we'll talk about that in another video if it appeals to you. But I like to go out to eat. This is the true story. I really do. There are plenty of ways you can go out to eat over the weekend without sabotaging your goals. First thing you can do, share a dish with your lovely friends, your lovely family members. Share a dish. Split it up as soon as you get it, and there you go. You have half the amount. It'll still be satisfying because you're still eating what you enjoy to eat, but it's less money, it's less calories, and you get to share, and who doesn't love to share with their loved ones? Second thing you can do, be the first one at your table to order food. The first one usually sets the tone for the whole table. So for example, if you have a group of 10 people and the per first person to order orders chicken wings with some extra buffalo blue cheese sauce on the side, what that will do is it will encourage and motivate other folks at that table to order whatever, deep fried fared kind of foods and those sorts of things. It, it sets the tone for the entire table. So you, being the leader that you are, you're going to set the tone by ordering something like a salad or something grilled shrimp or something that's healthy and fits your goals and all of your friends benefit from this as well because they're like, ooh, well she took the grilled shrimp. I think I'll probably get uh, roasted asparagus, you know? So you really do set the tone and you are a leader and you can show your leadership by being the first one. Don't be Minnesota nice and step back and be like, oh, it's okay, you go first, no, you first. Don't do that dance. You know what you want and you're gonna go for it and your friends are gonna benefit from it as well. Order first. The third tip, if you tend to eat out a lot at restaurants, here's what I'm gonna share with you. Eat out at restaurants. So, this is where it benefits you to act like your two-year-old kid or grandkid and be extremely picky. You know how your two year old or three year old, they're like, Shh, this is not supposed to touch this and I don't like this sauce and I need to have this cut up into small pieces and blah, 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 blah. They have endless demands. You can be a toddler in a restaurant and it will benefit you. It will benefit you. So if you have a menu item which is swimming in butter and is crusted with breadcrumbs and is basically the most unhealthy thing on the menu, Order it to your taste. It's a restaurant. They're there to serve you. You can order it without butter. Depending on what dish it is, maybe you can. <laughs> you can order it with a substitute. You can order extra vegetables. You can remove the extra cheese. There are lots of things you can do to make your favorite dish at your favorite restaurant healthier for you. 
And this especially applies if you go to restaurants that typically don't have healthier options. So um, you can always request that they make it exactly the way you want it. You are paying for it. They're at your service. Make them work for it. Make them do something. Make them provide you the best experience you've ever had. All of you will benefit from that. Okay, so we talked today during this video about how to prevent overeating on the weekends. We talked about alcohol, how to reduce that, uh, you know, that lovely teetoler habit you've got on Friday nights or when you're hitting the bar with your friends. Always have a big, tall glass of beautiful water after your first glass of whatever alcoholic beverage you're enjoying. And that way you can wean yourself slowly out of that habit. This has worked for my clients. It could work for you. The other thing we talked about was eating. Okay, so you go to the restaurants a lot, no problem. Be the one who's conscious of everything. Split your entree with someone else or order an appetizer item, which is usually, you know, half the size of entrees, but usually cost the same. So appetizer or split an entree with your loved ones or whoever you're out partying with. The other thing you can do is order first. Be the leader that you are, order the healthiest thing that you no fits within your meal planning and you will encourage all of your friends to do the same. Friends don't let friends get fat, right? You, you need to support each other and, and encourage and uplift each other. And the last one is be a picky toddler and order the food on the menu exactly the way you want it. Not the way it's pictured, not the way the restaurant traditionally does it. Throw some veggies in that sucker. Reduce some of the cheese or some of the butter. You know, there are certain things you can do to make that dish healthier for you. And they are happy to serve you. These are my top tips today. Thank you for joining me today on Facebook Live. I am doing these videos throughout the rest of this month, throughout August, on Tuesdays and Fridays. If you are watching this video, please pop in the comments what time of day works for you because I want to see more of you joining me live so that you can interact and I can answer your questions as they happen. Thank you for joining me here on Facebook Live and Waitlist. And I did mention, oh, I almost forgot. I did mention that I will be talking about release because full moon yesterday, we released our bad feelings about how we feel about ourselves. But today we're gonna talk about how to release all of that weight that just doesn't go away. It can go away. In fact, I have a brand new six month group coaching program, which is called Release. And it will help you eat more of the foods you love and enjoy more of the foods that you don't usually love. It will help you create a home fitness routine. No gym memberships required. That's what that's gonna help you with. And it will help you flex your mental muscle. Thank you for joining me. Make sure to say hello in the comments so I know who's joining me today. Uh, we're talking about release, my program. And the third thing we're gonna talk about in release is how to flex your mental muscle so that you build habits of lifelong success. This is not one of those challenges or detox or whatever where for seven days you feel fantastic and then you're like, oh, what happened? I'm not doing it anymore. This is a program that will change your life because you will take and master these skills and you incorporate it into your daily life for the rest of your life. Once you lose the weight on the six month program, you will not gain it back. That's right, folks. It is the end of dieting. And I'm super excited to offer this in a group format. Previously, it was just private coaching. To learn more about that, visit my website, weightlesschronicles.com, and you will learn all about release. Click on the work with me tab and we'll talk, or go ahead and comment on this video. Say, I want to learn about release, and I will contact you via Facebook so that we can get connected and see what it is that you are looking for. I want to serve you where you are today, and that's what this program is designed to do. All right, thank you for joining me here. This is Jen. I'm signing off today. Enjoy your weekend. Go crazy. Enjoy some cheap thrills. Get your hair done. Get your nails did. Go party with your friends, but keep it healthy. Have a healthy weekend. We'll talk soon. Bye-bye.